You can also install a theme manually. Let me show you how you can do that. Go to wordpress.org and look for the themes which you want to install. And from here, I'm going to look for TD Macro and then click on the download button. Now that our theme is downloaded, you can go to your WordPress dashboard and click on add new. And from here, you can upload that theme. Every WordPress themes have their own settings. There are some free themes available directly when you go for your WordPress.org themes section, but also there are premium themes available. Now that we have installed our TD macro theme, let's see how our website will look like. So let's go to our website live view. I'm gonna click on foot block. And this is how my TD macro theme looks like. So then I can go to my dashboard again. I can customize a lot of things which I need. But right now I'm gonna show you how you can create menus for your WordPress site. So if I go to my live view, you can see I have about us, contact us and a sample page. But what I need is a drop down menu which specifies how my foot blog is organized. Let's go to our dashboard and let's go to menus. And here I'm going to create a new menu, call this as main menu and click on create menu. Now I can add what I want to display in the menu bar. So let's go to view all and select home and click on add. Now the next one, what I need is I can go to categories and from here I can choose how I want to categorize my food block. The first thing is I need to display the vegetarian options. I'm going to click on this one, this one, this one, and this one. Let's click on add. I'm going to set this to primary menu and click on save. I can go to my foot blog and if I hit refresh, you can see my categories are available here. But I want the breakfast, dinner and lunch inside the vegetarian category. In order to do that, it gets back to our dashboard and all I have to do here is just push this inside this. And click on save. Now you can see in vegetarian, I have a drop down which I can choose from. Let's do the same thing for the non-vegetarian foods. Click on save. And then we have non-vegetarian foods too. Let's get back. Let me add our about us and contact us page. Great, now let's save this. Okay, so the only thing which is left for us now is the social menu. So you can see we have an option for social menu. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new menu. I'm going to call this as social. And go to custom links. I'm going, to, I'm going to give the link as hash and I give the name as Facebook. The next one is Twitter. And the third one is LinkedIn. I save that to social menu and save. Now let's get back to our live view and hit refresh. Okay, we got the placeholder, but we can't see anything. That's because I had given it as hashtags here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to change this to https facebook.com. I'll do the same thing for Twitter.
and I'm going to do the same thing for LinkedIn. Let's click on save. See how that looks like now. Great, now we got the icons for our social menu. 